Now, next this evening, we're probably all influenced by our siblings in some way, like the man you and met this afternoon. Yes, yep. One brother had a smash it single in the 1980s, while another is a drummer with Simple Minds. So no surprise that Paul McGee, Magoo, his friends, <laughs> to his friends even, uh, embraced music from an early age, even singing a jingle for a well-known fast food restaurant. He's playing for us this evening, but I met him earlier for a quick chat. Likewise, thank you very much for having me. Appreciate How are you? It. You're right. really good. Actually, um, really we just good. saw a clip of your music video there. Yes. Happy? Very excited. Very excited. Uh, we released it, and it went uh, to number three in the iTunes Singer Songwriter charts. And uh, yeah, the video is just out later on today, so I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. So it's all happening. It's all going on. It's really exciting. I signed a management deal uh, in the US about a year ago now, and basically since then, the whole thing has just taken a whole spike. I, I need to talk to you about this. I hope you don't mind. Go on. I'm, I'm loving nervous, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it. Yep. I'm loving it. <laughs> You're still that loving it. was your it. voice. It was Justin Timberlake <clears throat> to begin with. Justin Timberlake did the very first one, and then uh, they kind of figured, I guess, quite quickly that they could get some people to do that slightly cheaper than <laughs> Justin Timberlake. <laughs> so me and a bunch of other people actually came in and done, a bu done loads of them, because there was so many different versions back at that time. Like, I remember doing, like, a, a Chili peppers -y version and, uh -huh. like, a country and a rock version or whatever. So, so yeah, we got drafted into I could have done that! <laughs> I bet you, and I bet you got loads of, of money got, for it. Of course she could have done it. Did you get Easy. loads of money for it? Yeah, it was all right. I mean, I didn't buy a house with it, <laughs> right, okay. with it, but it was good. It was a nice job. And, and we need to talk about your family. Because you've got, you yeah. got two brothers who are in music. We've got Owen Paul, yes. who had a massive fit in the 80s and my favourite wasted time. Now, let's have a wee look at that. Cool. So that was Owen Paul. Yes. You've got another brother who was in which band? Simple Minds. Simple Minds. Let's have a wee look. Do you feel the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> you got two successful brothers. Do you well, know what I mean by that? I suppose so, yeah. I never really thought about it like that. I suppose. Oh, sorry, I, I just ruined it for you. No, it was cool. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of always... I never really thought about doing music until quite late. I was probably about 17 or, or, or 18 or whatever, but it was always around, so it didn't feel like a weird thing to do. Uh -huh. It was like our family did music and other families did different things, but yeah. it just so happened that because it was around, I was like a baby when they were all doing that. I was like, when Brian was in the mines, I was like, I don't know, five or six or whatever. So you're saying your brothers are really, really old then? <laughs> is that what it is? And you're the old young hip gold, guy. Oldies but goldies. <laughs> oh, they're going to kill me now, man. Come on. Did, did, did they help you? Or do you look for them, do you look to them for advice on that? Massively. I mean, they were huge influences me, in me all the way through it. You know what I mean? And it's definitely because of them that I'm doing it. Uh, I would just watch them and sort of see that they were going on tour and just doing cool stuff. And I was like... I wonder if I would quite like to do that. And then it was little <laughs> steps at a time that the more I did it, the more I kind of got the bug. But yeah, so, they've been massively supportive to me all the way through. So what's next for Mr Magoo? <laughs> Sorry, Magoo. I've done, <laughs> I'm winding you up now. It's all good. What's it's next good. for you, um, my man? So just released a single. I'm going back and forth to America quite a lot. I have an album coming out in September, which is called Songs from the Mirror. Uh, so hopefully, I'll be, and in the meantime, hopefully I'll be back up and down here doing quite a lot, which is what, that's what's lovely about this. I did a gig in, um, in town. Last week, last week, which was my first gig in Glasgow. I've done gigs all over the place, but this was my first gig as me in my hometown. So that has kind of spurred things on really nicely. So I'm hoping that I can come back and back and back and back. You can come back anytime. Amazing. It's been lovely meeting you. Likewise. Best luck with the album. Thank and you. Uh, one of your songs is getting played out at the end of the show. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing that. Cheers, Cheers bud. Bye.